Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we are making a Seattle hot dog. But before we do that, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I really do appreciate it. And before we get to the hot dog, I want to mention that my buddies over at Buckeye Backyard Barbecue are also doing a series on hot dogs. And they made one the other day you've got to check out. This thing looks amazing. It's a breakfast hot dog. It's definitely on my list of things to make. Seattle dog. I grew up about two hours away from Seattle and I've had these before but I'd forgotten all about them and then they came up on one of my feeds on, on something that, or one of the social sites that I follow. I thought, I've got to try these things because they're amazing. So I'm gonna do a traditional Seattle dog and then I'm gonna put a personal spin on one. I've never had this one before but I thought, man, these, these ingredients would go together. So really simple, first thing we're gonna do I'm just gonna put some oil down here in my little pan here for the Cuisinart 360. And I'm gonna cut up an onion just a little bit. Because onion is definitely a must when it comes to this dish. I'm just gonna cut these things in half, throw them in there, let them brown up a little bit. Just like that. And next thing we're gonna do is, it's got sauerkraut on it, it's optional but I do like warm sauerkraut on dishes. So I'm gonna just put those on there. While the onions are going to town, we're just gonna stir them up a little bit, wait for the pan to heat up. And we're just using normal hot dogs, guys. I just, some jumbo franks. You can use anything you want. I mean, German sausage would probably be the, the bomb on this. And for me, I'm actually gonna cut the hot dogs in half. See, it's cut in half. At this point, I'm just gonna take a little bit of sauerkraut, throw it down. There's a place in Washington called Leavenworth. It's like the German Bavaria, it's like the American version of German Bavaria. It's got all these houses that are slanted like this. And they've got a little shop in the corner that makes all sorts of different kinds of German sausages with like 20 different mustards. Oh, it's so good. They got shops everywhere. And their, their sauerkraut, oh, so good on that stuff. Stir oh. onions a little bit. I'm gonna take two buns, just gonna kind of warm them up a little bit for a moment. Those won't take very long. And I'm gonna put the hot dogs down. They won't take very long either. And voila, everything's coming together. We'll be right back. During the break, I did take the buns off. They're actually looking really good, guys. Sauerkraut's coming along. I did turn the hot dog, stirred that up a little bit, the onions. But for a traditional Seattle hot dog, they use cream cheese. So I'm gonna take one of the buns, and I'm just gonna put cream cheese on it. Take one of the hot dogs that looks to be done. You take some sauerkraut, lay it over like so. I'm gonna lay some onions in here. Brown mustard. That, my friends, is a dish fit for a dude from Seattle. It's time to try this. <laughs> that, my friends, is a damn good hot dog. Mmm. 
and juicy as well. Wow. That's good. If you like what you see so far, once again, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. The other way I want to try this, same dish. But with pimento and cheddar cheese. Take the same hot dog. Nice and cooked. Before we do that though, I do need to spread some pimento on one side. Put our hot dog down. Some of our kraut. Lay it down in there. It's like a big medley in there going on. Some our onions. Mm. Lay a little brown mustard down. Yeah. Let's give this a try. That's a bomb. That pimento coming through there, so awesome. Both of these are amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I think I might call that a dude dog right there. Yep, I'm gonna call it a dude dog. We made a Seattle dog and a dude dog. That rocks. Both of these rock. All right, guys. This is just a super simple meal. I know we're all kind of hunkering down right now. Might as well have a good time while you're at it. You know, if you got a bunch of hot dogs and some, some cream cheese running around, give it a shot, guys. It's easy. Onions. You don't have to put the sauerkraut in. It'd be good either way. But sauerkraut at least for me gives it just that little bit added flavor okay guys thanks everybody for watching please remember to like subscribe ring the bell comment all that good stuff share if you want really appreciate it please remember to check out my friends at Buckeye Backyard Barbecue they're doing a hot dog series we'll talk to you later remember the dude abides this time with a Seattle dog and a dude dog I'm going back to eating guys Stay safe.